Can of Beer Reviews. This is Estrella Jalisco in collab uh, Mod Grupo Modelo in collaboration with Golden Road Brewing of Los Angeles, California. It's produced in Los Angeles. And it's actually a three-way collaboration because they're using Mott's Clamato. Mott's. You know, they do that stuff. All right. Um, 3.5% alcohol. It contains shellfish. And it has hops, hop extract, malt, malt extract, corn syrup, corn, rice. So it says Golden Road Brewing created a mango flavored beer blended with Clamato Picante and brewed in Los Angeles. It's a spin on the classic Michelada flavor with a unique and authentic LA, what they call mango cart vendors twist. These guys that go around in a little yeah. cart selling. It sounds like a meal in a can. Yeah, with the corn, the rice, the mango, and what else? Oyster juice or something? Pineapple flavoring. Pineapple. Butter. Clam broth. Uh, clam broth. In Louisiana, we don't have clams. Oh, I made a oysters. mistake. I forgot to. Uh... Oh, dude, did you make a mistake? Look at this, kids. Well, it's gonna get clarified. Keep it's on gonna... going. Keep on going. All right. Oh, wait, those were the clams. You saw chunks. these big chunks coming out. <laughs> big chunks coming out of it. The beer has chunks. Well, I'll wait some craft beers. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I this, bought, we bought this in. I bought this in Texas, Arlington, Texas, at the liquor warehouse. Okay. So, would this be considered a craft beer? Uh, you know, I mean, not either. really. I guess. Or, I mean, I'm confused as to what collaborations and crafts. Golden Road was a craft beer company in Los Angeles that got bought out by Anheuser-Busch. Okay. Grupo Modelo was a Mexican mass producer that got bought out by Anheuser-Busch and Bev. Mm. So they brought them together. You know, it's like you said there's, there's, there's three, three pieces to the collaboration. And then Mott's. Mott's makes that, uh, you know, that Bloody Mary mix. Mott's, Clamato, okay. that is owned by Pepsi and 7-Up. Oh. So does Anheuser-Busch have steak with Pepsi? No, something? I just think they made a deal where we'll use Mott's and put it on the can and then Mott's it got people, you know, looks good for them. This is a nice head on mine and uh, I had the last pour and I'm looking at chunks galore at the top of this red thing. Mott's not as red, but that's okay. But they, they both look very similar to me. And, and when I first started pouring, it was gold. Shows how much it was. settled. Um, Man, that smells. 253rd day of 2020. You smell a mango. I smell tomato and mango. Oh, it says wheat also. Okay, wheat. This truly is like the grocery bag of all beers here. Right, and I did not agitate it, but it, it worked out when I did the shaky shake. Um, beer, here's the disclosure. Beer with natural mango flavor, natural flavor, and certified color. So they're using food color to make it red, of course. So, so, so to make it appear so it's a tomato color? It does have it, tomatoes, but you know, over time that might not be as red as they want it to be. Okay, if you look at the Mott's climate, this is, this is like, they use food color, right? Okay. Cheers, we're not gonna be able to do that. You don't want to spell it, yeah. What does that smell like? That smells like somebody took a bunch of stuff, mixed it all up in a blender, and said, there you go. Like, there's... It smells I could, I could smell the... I could smell the mango, I could smell tomato. Yeah, I'm not picking up that. It's the second time that's done that today. Uh, since the her uh, tropical storm. I never did lose my sense of smell this year. Okay, I did. Yeah, I'm getting a little of the citrus. Let's go with the taste. And some other smell, some some graininess. It's just a mixed bag of flavors. Yeah, you can't really pin it down. It's a lot of salt. They kind of mad match together. Like if you had this with. Where it's just the tomato juice that they mix with the beer, it's there. Then you add the mango, it's there. 
salt. And that clam, that clam juice that clam you get. Like, the only thing that I'm, that I, I can say that I'm used to tasting anything like clam juice would be oyster juice. Uh, so it's there, it's kind of thick, you know, and uh, it's a unique beverage. Um, Never seen it in Louisiana? No, I probably won't. You said this is one of those Sunday morning drinks? It could be. It's only 3.5% alcohol. I think it's one of those hangover drinks. Yeah, that's what I, meant. That's what I was implying. Oh. Sunday morning, get it? Well, yeah, in New Orleans, people have Bloody Marys on Sunday morning, so I can see how this would fall on those lines. That is some chunks. Oh, let me see if I can pick out anything else. Not really. I'm just getting the rice, the low malt, low malt. Tomato, mm -hmm. Tomato. salt, salt, clam juice. So think along the lines of, show you my shirt. Tomato soup, light beer, like Estrella, uh, at least. Cash. Um, salt, beard, and uh, some citrus. Mm -hmm. It's like you said, it's cold soup in a can. I never said that. You did. Well, you said a meal in a can. A meal in a can. Well, soup is a meal. Um, it's a soup that eats like a meal. Um, anyway, um, it's fine to me. I'm. I wouldn't be looking to drink this, but I figured it was unusual. I bought it. How much did you pay for that? I don't know, like two sixty nine. I mean, the bill did not ring up that high, so it couldn't have been too much. I bought those three big cans, and then I bought that Canadian rye whiskey, and the bill, and the, the whole total. Well, the there. ones that we can get around here at mainstream convenience stores. There's only two of them. One's made by Bone Weiser, and they put, of course, they put their regular Bone Weiser and their Bud Light out. And then they put hot and then light, and then they had the Modelo. And Modelo's Modelo. got several several stages, the regular one, and then they got one that's... There was a Tecate for a little while, Michelada, but it didn't last. No, I remember seeing that one. Is it a red can? So, yeah, we get these a lot around here, and this is not that different. Mm-mm. -mm. So I don't, yours just got more gunk in it. I can tell by the way it's sticking to the side of your glass. Yeah, look yeah. at that. Well, anyway, how would you rate it? Um, I'd rate it good. I mean, uh, but you gotta like salt good. in your beer, you know? I can see how this is perfect for hot weather. It's At flavorful, it's, it, it, it obviously has some vitamins and stuff in it with, with the mango and, and the tomato juice. Uh, you get the saltiness with the clam. Maybe some asparagus or celery in it. It's low alcohol. I mean, it's it's a perfect kind of like a, a warm weather beer. I mean, would you say it was 3.2? 3.5. 3 3.5. It's not going to get you too uh, done out. It's kind of where you want to be in this hot weather anyway. I mean, you don't really don't want to go above. It might help. Light it beer. might help put some, some substance back in you if you've been out in the heat too long. I can see that. Anyway, they had a whole cooler full of this stuff, all kinds. So I figured. Well, didn't you make reference one time when when we were reviewing the Rattler that came out of Germany? They do the bike rides. Yeah, they do bike rides, and they, they drink that while they bike ride. Especially when they finish the race, they just drink a whole lot of it. Only like I mean, I, I, yeah, I can see that, that with this because of the low alcohol content. Yeah, the German Rattler is like two point eight. Plus, also alcohol mimics taking away pain, so I can see that. So, so if you dehydrate and you're feeling painful, you know, just, I mean, just a little alcohol doesn't hurt. You don't have to have 9.5% alcohol and, you know, barrel aged and uh, yeah. cookie crust and all that stuff in it. You know, I'm gonna, this is simple. Uh, I'm going to save mine so I can do a written review, but uh, how would you score? Yeah, simple is pretty enjoyable. Though. I'd give it an A. Yeah, I'm going to give it a solid A. I'd give it like a 95. It's really good. It's really good. It's balanced. Uh, they did a good job at making this. It's not over mangoed. It's not over sweet. It's not over tomatoed. It's like they, they just took their time and made it perfectly balanced. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I could, I could see beer making 
kind of like how you cook or you make a stew or something. There's there's a there's a balance of things that go in because you want a certain taste on some things. You put more of this and less of that. So yeah, I mean these guys have been making beer how long? Uh, they obviously know what they're doing. Oh, so uh, something like 1900. Yeah. So. And Golden Road is new. They're a new craft brewery, but. And before that, you know, all that was brought to the Americas right. by Eastern Europeans. Oh, yeah. Oh, the lager beers. All right. And the pills are soap <coughs> in the Vienna lagers. So, uh, Lazy Le Bon Temps Relay, I'm going to say 95. 95 as well. And we're going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Los Angeles and tour Golden Road Brewery. Drink better beers, kids. <laughs>